Hello and welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name's Andy. And I'm Drew. This is our little 10 minute window to the rest of the world. And today is another great episode. This is another five wonderfully horrible horror films you need to see before you die. Hey. I know Drew loves these episodes because uh, he doesn't know what's coming up. So uh, his reaction, once again, could be your reaction. It's kind of like a box of chocolates. If Forrest Gump had a severed hand in the box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Here we are. We got popcorn. We got drinks. I got movies. And we got five wonderful titles ready for you. Now, I know for first hand, you've seen at least four out of five of these movies. I'm not sure if you've seen this first one. I'm talking about the all-time schlock classic showcase of Scream Queens Everywhere, Rory Babes, and the Slime ball -orama. Enjoy. Small things can cause big trouble. I know where the Tri-Delta Sorority is having their initiation tonight. Yeah, felt the Delta? And we just might be able to watch. God, oh, they say you've got to start at the bottom to get to the top. And they're right. Busted. They say where there's smoke, there's fire. And they're right. Babs, have a cocktail. They say curiosity killed the cat. And they're right. Run! They say good things come in small packages. No way out, except by dying. But this time, they're wrong. Sorority babes. Sorority babes in the slime ball -orama. Come on, man. Yeah, that's definitely an urban classic. The list of people in this movie are, they're like the classics. Every conceivable background guy in a horror film is in this. It's like known for that. Along with every 80s horror film cliche. Well, yeah, that goes without saying. Oh my god. Sort of babes in a slime bowl around. Check it out. You may have to hunt this one down at a horror convention or something. You're not gonna find this in like the five dollar bin at Walmart. I'm gonna get in on some of this popcorn because you keep mowing it down. I don't come over here just for the movies. I come over here for the popcorn. But now I know for a fact you've seen this one. Okay, I'm probably sure. This one's I have. got everything. It's got women, it's got cheesy music. Great special effects, not CGI, but stop motion, hint hint, and I'm talking about bite me, killer spiders in a strip club. <laughs> Miss me Mondays in this. <laughs> oh! Check it out. Oh my god. On this, this one! Hilarious. Oh my god, wow. That's definitely, um, yeah, the strip club where the strippers are like, you haven't seen pole dancing that bad since Lindsay Lohan and I know who killed me. Ow! <laughs> yeah. Wow! Boom! But this one is worth checking out, just for the fact that those spiders and creatures you saw were not CGI, they were actually stop motion, and uh, even a giant creature in the end, I don't know, I'm giving them away, all stop motion. Well, I mean, I'll give them an A for effort for putting the stop motion in there, obviously. I mean, I like to see directors at least do something real with the effects. Mm. But this one was just... Real bad. I, mean, <laughs> I will say, though, this movie does have a couple of good things in it. One of them is being Misty Monday, because she's just... She's, he's all hung up on her. I like her. I think she's a good B-movie actress. She's a B-movie presence. Actress... Ack? Okay, uh, all right, all right. This next movie I actually did get from the $5 bin at Walmart, and it stars Carmen Electra. Yes, you know it. American Vampire. <laughs> starring Carmen Electra. I think she actually says about 12 words in the movie, but it's starring Carmen Electra. 
She was actually a secondary character in uh, one of the vampire ghouls, but it stars Carmen Electra! <laughs> don't blink, you might miss her. Why don't you remember? It's me. Moon Doggy, we met on the beach. Katrina. Frankie. <laughs> now about uh, some sleeping quarters? <laughs> Beautiful, sexy, voluptuous, scantily clad girls. Wow, they didn't even have the money for a trailer. Nope. They got Carmen Electra! <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you really can't slight the filmmakers for uh, working this angle. She was the hottest vampire in there, so I mean... But the best is the front pa page. Like, there's nothing else but, like, just her face. St promotional stock shot they took just to have the makeup test so they could have the makeup artist remake, redo yeah. the work a second day. That comes like the poster for the whole movie. Right in the total flavor of the 80s, <laughs> 90s beach, uh, like, Fright Night kind of thing. Oh my gosh. Uh, American Vampire. Check it out. It's yes. cheap, too. Walmart, five bucks. Speaking of... The five dollar bin at Walmart. Actually, I have another one. I just noticed was from that five dollar bin. Now, let's think about this movie. This movie is actually well filmed. I know this has got one of Drew's favorite elements in it. Yes, I'm talking about the CGI helicopter in the end. <laughs> you have to see uh, these films before you die. Oh my god! You know, at, at an hour and a half a piece. Sometimes I watch these episodes of Drew and I, and I think, wow, what? A, I really could have used that seven hours for something productive. <laughs> But no, I watch these, and I'm bringing them to you, oh our viewers, God. DNA. I'm here! <laughs> these films pride themselves on uh, like, like mocking and copying mainstream films, but it seems wow. like this one couldn't even make up its mind which one it wanted to copy. Yeah. It threw like a, a hundred sci-fi films in a blender and just pureed and like just pouring it out. Well, let me see. We got like a page of this script. We got a page of that script. We got a page of this script. Let's throw them together and make a movie. <laughs> that movie doesn't put you over. This next one will. Yeah. Brace yourself, viewers. Drew's about to go a little nuts. Oh. With our final film you have to see before you die. This is one of Drew's favorites. Favorites meaning he's being sarcastic, by the way. I'm talking about Dark Harvest 2! The Maze. Oh my god. God. This movie is amazing! Oh my god! It's been almost one year since the disappearance of the Nettie girls. I think we're lost. I can't find them anywhere! One word, corn. God, this, oh, Jesus. I, I take back what I said about DNA. I'll say it about this movie. This movie Girl. has no reason to exist. None, okay? It looks like somebody just had an afternoon at like a cornfield maze and made a movie with his kids and decided that he was going to just make a movie. That's what he did. I know. The case in the DVD is worth more than a movie. This scarecrow? Not even in it, trust me. The, the title isn't even the title. The actual title is the, is maze. the maze. You gotta understand the plot about this movie. This movie is about a father um, who has some crazy psychic ability of telling what happened in the future. Oh, the power on top of it. Or it actually, I think they actually had a real cruiser. Good night, Evan. I don't know. It's terrible. <laughs>